Hey Taurus, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your reading. This reading is for uh, the new year. It's for the month of January 2023. And it is bigger than usual because it's taking us into the new year. So I'm pulling out plenty of cards for it if we need them. Okay, for most of them, they've been over 20 minutes uh let's get into it spirit and angels oh so happy new year everybody i'm so sorry i'm kind of in the twilight zone right now i've been up since three o'clock this morning working and i'm getting a little goofy so i'm gonna focus focus it's taurus all right spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for taurus what do we need to know here for taurus what are the most important messages we have for anyone who's guided to see the taurus reading for whatever reason they're guided here right well a lot came out but i'm gonna take them all because i want to see them we have teacher and the healing light came out together people and spirit so spirit's sending in someone who can help you with some kind of healing um this could be you know one of these channels this could be um someone that you you know higher or that you look another spirit card the temple path beautiful all right and um we have new beginnings with the brand new cycle and we have the conflict card. So I feel like this is all happening, happening as a result of something that happened. So what I feel is that, um, something happened that put you on a spiritual path. Now, sometimes, uh, and it's a brand new beginning right there, your new cycle, it's opening up right there for you. Brand new baby, brand new cycle, brand new portal here to go through. Um, this could have resulted from something that happened. All right. So when I see a card like this come out, it's an event in your life that caused conflict in your life that caused, um, this looks to me like a spiritual, almost like a spiritual awakening or a new sp spiritual path. Like you got on another path. So something happens and you went bloop and got on another path and so whatever it is that happened. Um, there could have been a fight. There could have been some kind of loss. There could have been a relationship loss. There could have been anything. Whoa. All right. Let's get into it. Okay. So this was the, uh, quantum Oracle and we're going to be using the Gilded Royale. And we're also using the after tarot. When I clarify, I'm going to be clarifying next step. Okay. Because this is a new year. We're going to try to leave behind the past and we're going to move into the new year. So I don't want to clarify how did we get there at all if we don't have to. Okay. But if it comes up, it comes up. Um, I will let you know if I feel like past energy is coming out because we really want to focus on fresh new energy with this brand new journey and the spiritual path. I don't know if you're on this yet or you're about to get on it. Okay. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know here for Taurus? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most for anyone who's guided to see the Taurus reading for whatever reason they've been guided here? What do we need to know about this reading? What are the most important messages? This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. And like I said, this could go right into your new year. What do we need to know? Taurus reading. One more shuffle. Taurus reading. 2023. Gosh, can't believe it. All right. 2023. What do we need to know for Taurus? Okay, yeah, absolutely. So we're going from that five of cups, that difficult energy that you've been in, and we're going to turn that wheel because you're about to go in on a new path here. Excellent. That's what we want to see. If you have to have been through something, it's great to see that that energy is about to change for you. Excellent. Wheel of Fortune. What else do we need to know here about this reading for Taurus or anyone else? Yeah, absolutely. This is beautiful new energy with the um, page of wands. Excellent. What else do we need to know about this reading? There you are. The Queen of Pentacles and the uh, Knight of Pentacles came out too. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. All right. So I definitely do feel like, um, and the way they came out, Queen of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles, it's almost like the Knight's coming at the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if this is something coming in for you or is this is just stability coming in. 
eight of pentacles reverse and you got two that came out on their side as a oh three i didn't even see that one all right so let's talk about this um so the eight of pentacles comes out in reverse and separately these three come out on on top of each other one two three the nine of wands the wounded warrior and why is this the wounded warrior because of this five of swords ten of swords and someone else had these same two cards in their reading as i feel like was it the bottom of their deck it, it might have been right at the bottom of their deck both of these cards or it was right at the beginning of the reading there was something going on with someone else having these two i wish i could remember who it was who was it Libra. Oh gosh, I can't remember. I'm going to say it was Libra or Virgo, but I don't remember. But what we have here is, you know, the end of something, um, someone possibly feeling betrayed or backstabbed, or it's just a harsh ending. Five of swords. Somebody could have been being gaslit, could have felt really, um, Somebody could have been one-upping someone. Uh, somebody could have been bullying someone. There's so many things that could have been going on here with the Five of Swords. Um, and we have the Hanged Man here. I mean, I'm sorry. I said Hanged Man, but I meant the Five... The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. I don't know why I can't say it. But it's a result of your Five. Your Five of Cups here. Whatever happened where you felt really hurt and betrayed... There's two fives here, and this conflict reminds me of a five. It reminds me of the five of swords or the five of wands even. Oh, excuse me. And I said hangman when I was talking about this because the hangman is at the bottom of your deck. It's um, Here it is in the upright, but the hangman's reversed, enlightened about something. So we're seeing something clearly. And you know what? When I look at the hanged man, the hanged man's looking right at the two of pentacles saying, hey, I know I have to make this decision. At least now I have clarity on what decision to make because one decision that you'll make will bring that ship in. So one of the decisions that you can choose from will bring a big old ship in. Well, guess what? The hangman's already looked at it from a different perspective and now they're enlightened and they know what decision to make. So this is really, oh gosh, right behind that is the two of swords as well. So we've got the two of swords right behind that. Look at all this decision making. The hangman is enlightened now and knows what decision to make in a situation. Very interesting. So um as we come into the reading i see that you're okay so you're enlightened you're figuring you now know what decision you want to make in a situation and this decision is going to help bring in your opportunities the wheel of fortune so whatever's been going on where there was a conflict there was some sadness there was maybe feeling backstabbed or betrayed or even taken advantage of or whatever was going on here that you feel like you had to defend yourself against could have been a work situation because you have eight of pentacles here and right beside all this decision making is the three of pentacles reversed so this could have been something to do with a fire sign and uh oh my gosh absolutely look ten of wands reversed so you were carrying a lot of burdens in a possible it looks to me like a work situation or a financial situation and what i see happening is the wheel turns like there's a conflict or there could have been an argument between you and a business or a partner or something at work or something like this um that's all changing now um the wheel is turning there's all uh, there could be some good news that comes in as a result of all this this good news and this uh the wheel turns and everything that you've been going through yes it's been a challenge i mean all of this has been a challenge having to defend yourself feeling gaslit taken advantage of abused in some way whatever was going on here bullying uh somebody taking advantage of you uh, possibly backstabbing you or you feeling um hurt in a situation all of that has been a challenge to the situation i feel strongly for a lot of you this is work with the three of pentacles right behind all the decision cards here and with the eight of pentacles right here they're both reversed this is like i quit this is like uh, my decision is 
here's my decision. I've been enlightened. I know what SOBs you are. I've been thinking about it and I'm now sure that I'm not going to work here anymore. I am now sure that I'm not going to carry your burdens anymore. You piled them all on me and I'm not going to do it anymore. And I am enlightened about this and I'm not working here anymore. Three of Pentacles reverse, eight of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody who's been enlightened and you might even receive good news. Like this might be, you don't have to work there anymore. Your good news is your wheel of fortune, your fortune changes. Are you receiving something that allows you to quit working? I mean, it's very possible with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, it's possible that you receive a new opportunity where you're not going to have to work with this group anywhere because you're going someplace way better. Um, and this is all part of your spiritual path. It's all part of, part of your spiritual path where you were meant to uh, see the truth in whatever was going on here or whatever these people were about so that you could release yourself from them and go down a different path. It's sacred temple, the healing light, a new beginning. Uh, the teacher is a very spiritual feeling card to me as well. Even though it's a people card, it's somebody who can help you with this enlightenment. Now, keep in mind, for me, this could even be someone on the other side. If you're getting, um, if you're in contact with someone from the other side who passed over or, you know, is on the other side that guides you or that you connect with or whatever this is, but this could also be in this lifetime here in the 3D, someone guiding you and helping you get through what was once a difficult time you're now coming out the other end of it, enlightened in a very more, a much more positive light, feeling uh, like you're on the right path. If you don't know this yet, you are going to be or getting on the right path or you're on it already and you just haven't realized it yet. It's very possible because as we come into this reading, you're just becoming enlightened and you're just starting to see that this wasn't there. These, these were there. You're just starting to make these decisions about the situation. You could be dealing, like I said, with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius who put a lot of, uh, a, a lot of burdens on your back in an, in a work situation. And like, you're starting to see and be like, Oh, hell to the no, I'm not going to invest any more in this. And your intuition could have told you all along to get out of this. And now you're, you could be getting, um, information you could be just getting enlightened you could be seeing things more clearly figuring out what was going on here what who was the cause of this it could have been a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius for some of you you're receiving something that was owed to you that this person was trying to take advantage of you Maybe they were trying not to pay you or to give you something that is rightfully yours. Whatever this is, brand new path, brand new opportunities, something coming in for you um, that's going to help you not have to work so hard. I feel like you won't have to work so hard because of whatever this is. Now, is it just a new opportunity and you don't have to work for a bad company anymore? Or is this actually something financial coming through for you? that's going to allow you more financial freedom. I'd love to know you guys, if you, if you would comment down below, if this is your reading. All right, let's give you a, let's get some, um, after tarot on it. So what do we need to know about this and what comes next here? I see this excellent news with the wheel of fortune and the page of wands. What do we need to know about this is brand new energy being breathed, new beginnings, wheel of fortune, page of wands, new, new, new everywhere. What do we need to know about this? <laughs> <laughs> the page, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, these we don't read in reverse. They have their own individual um, meanings on them. You know, I want to show you what is behind here. Behind here, there's a lot back here, but I want to show you exactly what's going on. You have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You also have the Knight of Pentacles again. You also have the world, not just the wheel, but the world and the Six of Swords. This feels to me like you're going to go to a place of peace. You might even travel. You might even move. This says, I'm moving. Okay, but it also, look, one, two, and three cards of, no, four cards of a brand new cycle. Brand new cycle of peace. And it comes by something that's coming back in from the past. Like we revisit something 
and then like someone takes a good look at something that was walked away from and it says wait a minute you forgot this let me bring it to you and they give it to you like that's what it feels like and then there we are the queen of pentacles accepting her pentacle like thank you so much for bringing me back something that was left behind in the past but it, you know this is all metaphorical i really feel like there was some kind of conflict or fight or someone was left out of something or something happened or someone wasn't paid or something to cause all this i'm going to put this all back but amazing how you've got all these beautiful cycle 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 and like i said we uh the world right here is another indication of we're closing the old cycle we're opening up a brand new cycle here we're all doing that on you know new year's eve new year's day anyway but you know a lot of us are doing it in particular areas i mean we're all opening a new cycle and we're all leaving the old year behind but we're going to all have different things going on in different cycles in our life like for you this feels like something going on with your stability around your um stability whether it be a job or a financial situation let's take a look at it we have the queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles coming off the heels of this eight of pentacles reversed what do we need to know about this the nine of swords and the two of wands and look at that the Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This is a financial or work obligation. This is a contract. This is a, uh, it's a, it's a bind, bound agreement between two people of some sort. I feel like whatever this is, is coming from someone who owes you this or, you know, for some of you, this is a new opportunity coming in out of nowhere and you're going to leave that old crappy job behind and they're going to come in and be like, hey, do you want to work for me? And they're going to ask you to go down this road with them to create with them. And this is going to get you out of a lot of stress because you've been under a lot of pressure at this other place. If this was about a place, if this was about money, your money's coming and look at this person's like, Hey, I got this for you because we discovered that it was owed to you or we got to the bottom of it and it's going to take you out of a lot of stress that you've been under. You know, we know that this is owed to you. Um, let me get a little bit of, you know, but for some of you, this is definitely um, a new opportunity. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. You've had to defend yourself and protect yourself from bad treatment. Why are these all a challenge to this reading? Why are they all here? And what do we need to know? Wow. So remember, my next question was going to be, what do we need to know about what's next? All this maltreatment that you've had to deal with? this is out of here there's something going to come in i feel like it's going to expose this give me another card on this please with the tower on top of the ten ten of swords i'm telling you something keeps getting revisited here this keeps popping out the um card of going back to see what was in the cup it keeps coming back out tell me about and you know the hanged man's at the bottom here again remember the hangman becomes enlightened here and is no longer in the reverse and knows now what to do what decisions to make about whatever that was um it could be the other person that's uh got the information it doesn't always have to be you let me get a little more information on it what is this it's like something gets revisited from the past and it's a tower tell me about the tower it ends something tell me about the tower and the eight of cups what is it doing here with this ten of swords five of swords and nine of wands wow okay let's take it all well we've got archangel gabriel here and judgment we got the three of swords and we got the five of swords and these are after tarot remember their next step the three of swords is now bandaged the five of swords has overcome the bullying the abuse the maltreatment and the bullies go off and away after the wounded warrior actually takes their weapons away so says archangel gabriel uh there is something happening here that's going to end this maltreatment for the wounded warrior it's going to end it and something's going to i feel 
is going to, well, the wounded warrior ends up being the one holding all the swords uh, and healing the situation because something is definitely getting balanced out. I'm telling you, this is like a financial situation. You might have had to fight hard for this with the seven of wands. But as I always say, seven of wands always wins. They're always the one on top up against anyone who comes at them. So I definitely feel I want to know more about this two of wands because somebody is like bringing you this news, bringing you the pentacle that was left behind or that wasn't given, making sure that this is getting done correctly. Tell me about the two of wands here. What is this about? Two of wands. Ooh, that's way too many. Can we just do one or two for the two of wands? What's important about this particular two of wands when that wheel of fortune turns? What do we need to know about the two of wands? Three of Wands. Okay, get ready to move forward. Let me get another one. Two of Wands, Three of Wands. Anything else we should know about it? We see the wheel turning. What about the Page of Wands? What is all this? It's like some kind of good news. Yep. I'm telling you, it's coming in for you. Something that you could have been waiting for. It could have been financial and it could have been from a work situation. They sit right at the bottom, the Seven and Eight of Pentacles. Or it's just that you're finally going to see your fruit uh your tree bear fruit let's say you're finally going to see what you've put all your effort into because this could all be metaphorical we're finally you're going to start seeing the the benefits um the forward mo movement the balance of all the work you've put in all the blood sweat and tears you've put into something you're finally going to see this come in um, for some of you, you're going to receive great news about something where you were just not treated right or fair or something was not given to you that was supposed to. For others of you, all of a sudden, something that you've put, poured your heart into that you've worked very hard for is going to blossom into something beautiful. And you're going to see your uh, trees bear the fruit that you've planted the seeds for a long time ago. I hope this makes sense. What a great reading. All right, let's get you... A couple of angel cards here. What do we need to know? Angels, what are the messages? Oh gosh, that's a lot. Okay. Forgiveness, patience, and joy. Wow. What is forgiveness doing here? I want to just get one from the bottom. Oh, okay. Healing. All right, so this is a healing. I already saw that coming in over here. So says Archangel Gabriel, there will be a healing here when something from the past is comes back around and this time you get treated fairly. Um, and if there's something that you were had gone through, that's going to change as well. Like if somebody had done something to you, let's say, or caused you um to be harmed or miss out or something i feel that's coming back around to be made right there's um a healing coming in for you there's expansiveness i didn't even see this one oh it's expansiveness i thought it said forgiveness it says expansiveness better yet because i didn't like forgiveness being given out to somebody who mistreated you healing and expansiveness not forgiveness um this is going to like i said you're going to be moving forward you're going into a brand new cycle, brand new cycle everywhere here. Your world's going to expand in the best way. This is really great energy. Joy is coming in. Patience, that it, it's been all about divine timing. So now we don't only have judgment here with Archangel Gabriel. We also have Archangel Michael showing up to say this has all been a grand plan. Good luck with this. I want, There's definitely a healing coming in for you. Definitely. Look at all the healing coming in for you so much healing so whatever this is it might come in suddenly it's like your wheel turns and everything changes and it changes for the better something's getting balanced out something that needed to get balanced out for you good luck with this you guys i'd love to hear from you if you'd like to comment down below we have capricorn taurus virgo we have leo we have um pisces we have uh libra we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All these different signs came out and Scorpio. Anyway, good luck with this, guys. I'm just telling you what I see. You know, they don't have to apply in any way. 
But good luck with this, you guys. Um, happy New Year to all of you. Please do comment and like the video. And don't forget, I sent out a, ha a Merry Christmas. It says Happy Holidays. It was on Christmas Day. It was just to say Merry Christmas and a few other things. Very, very short video. But in that short, short video, I talked to you about my prediction for 2023. And it goes into 2024 as well just because I had to mention that because the two kind of worked together. So I hope that you will check that video out and don't forget to like it and uh, comment on it. And I appreciate you guys for being here all year and helping my channel grow the way you have been. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, please do like this video and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Happy New Year, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.